بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين صلى الله عليه وسلم. We are going to proceed in this lecture on commercial law for business students for El Isra University. We are going to talk about section number seven endorsements on page one fifty seven. Definition and formal requirements of endorsement. We have to define endorsement to know what we are talking about. Most commonly, paper is transferred by endorsement. The endorsement is evidence that the endorser intended to intended uh, the instrument to move along in the channels of the uh, commerce, to hand it to another uh, person by signing it on the back on the back of the check. An endorsement is defined as a signature. A signature, other than that of a signer or maker, drawer or acceptor, that along or accompanied by other words is made on the uh, on an instrument for the purpose of number one, negotiating the instrument; number two, restricting payment of the instrument; or three, incurring endorser's uh, liability on the instrument. But regardless of the intent of the signer, a signature and its accompanying words is an endorsement and lists the accompanying words terms of the endorsement place of the signature or other circumstances unambiguously indicated that the signature was made for the purpose other than endorsement placement of endorsement endorse or an endorse Literary means on the back of. Literary means on the back of, as fish say, have dorsal fins, fins on their backs. Usually, endorsements are on the back of the instrument, like a check, uh, but an endorsement could be on a piece of paper affixed to the instrument. Such an attachment is called an un, uh, along. It comes along with the instrument. There are rules about where endorsements are placed. The Expedited Funds Availability Act was enacted in 1987 by Congress to standardize holding uh, periods on deposits made to commercial banks. Uh, and to regulate institutions use of deposit holds that is how uh, soon customers can access the money after they had deposited the check in the bank sometimes an endorser adds words intend to strengthen the endorsement for example i hereby assign all my right title and interest in this note to car uh, carpenter the name of the uh, person words of uh, assignment such as these are also words of condition waiver guarantee limitation or disclaimer of uh, liability do not uh, negate the effect of an endorsement misspelled or incorrect endorsements when the in an instrument is made payable to a person under a misspelled name or a name other than his own he may endorse in the wrong name or the right on or the right one or both it is safer to sign in both names and the purchaser of the instrument may demand a signature in both names. Various endorsements and their effects. A holder can endorse in a variety of ways. Endorsements are not uh, identical and have different effects. No endorsement. If the endorsement requires a signature, transfer without endorsement in, uh, is an assignment only. Bare paper does not require endorsement, so it can be negotiated simply by 
delivering it to their transferee who becomes a holder the transfer has no contract liability on the instrument however because he has not signed it he does remain liable on the warranties but only to the person who receives the paper not the subsequent transfers transferees because it is common practice for a, a depository a bank the bank into which a person makes a deposit to receive unendorsed checks under so-called lock box agreements from customers who receive a high volume of checks a customer who is a holder can deposit a check or other instruments for credit to his account without endorsement partial endorsement to be effective as negotiation and endorsement must convey the entire instrument and endorse an, an endorsement that uh, purports to convey only a portion of the sum still do amounts to a partial assignment bank endorsement blank endorsement excuse me a blank endorsement consists of the endorser's signature alone a blank endorsement converts the instrument into paper closely akin to cash since the endorsement does not specify to whom the instrument is to be paid it is treated like bare paper assuming of course that the first endorser is the person to whom the in in instrument was payable originally special endorsement a special endorsement sometimes known as an endorsement in full endorsement in full names the transferee holder the payee of a check can endorse it over a third party by writing pay to the order of name of the third party and then signing his name once specially endorsed the check or other instrument can be negotiated further only when the special endorse adds his own signature a holder may convert a blank endorsement into a special endorsement by writing above the uh, signature of the endorser words of a uh, contractual nature consists consistent with the character of the instrument restrictive endorsement a restrictive endorsement attempts to limit payment to a particular person or otherwise prohibit further transfer or negotiation uh, we say attempts to limit attempts to limit because a restrictive endorsement is generally invalid an attempt to limit payment to a particular person or prohibit further transfer is the effective however two legitimate restrictive endorsements are valid collection endorsements and trust endorsements collection endorsement it is <coughs> excuse me it is very common for people and businesses to mail checks to uh, their bank for deposit to their accounts sometimes mail goes astray uh, or get stolen surely it must be permissible for the uh, customer uh, to safeguard the check by restraining its use to depositing into her account or his account a collection endorsement such as for deposit or for collection is ineffective anybody other than a bank who purchases the instrument with such an endorsement converts the uh, instrument effectively sells it a, depos a depository bank that takes it must deposit it as directed or the bank has converted it a bearer bank a payer bank 
that is also the depository bank that takes the instrument for immediate payment over the counter converts it the check cannot be cashed it must be deposited in the bank trust endorsement a second uh, legitimate restrictive endorsement is endorsement in trust called a trust endorsement sometimes agency endorsement suppose Paul Pei owns uh, Caroline creditor a debt Pei endorses a check drawn to him by third party pay to Tina attorney and trust for Caroline <coughs> creditor attorney endorses endorses in blank and delivers it to a a holder for value B a depository bank for collection or C a payer bank for payment in each case these uh, takers can safely pay attorney so long as they have no notice of any breach of fiduciary uh, duty that attorney may be committing conditional endorsement <clears throat> An endorsement might want uh, to condition want to condition the negotiation of an instrument upon some event such as pay Carla Green if she finishes painting my house by July 15. Such a conditional endorsement is generally ineffective. A person paying for value can. Uh, disregard the condition without liability qualified endorsement an endorser can limit his uh, liability by making a qualified endorsement the usual qualified endorsement consists of the words without uh, recourse which means that the endorser has uh, no contract liability sub to subsequent holder if a maker or drawee defaults a qualifying endorsement does not impair negotiability the qualification must be in writing by signature on the instrument itself by disclaiming con uh, contract liability the qualified endorser also limits his warranty liability though he does not eliminate them.